After reading the protocols in their entirety, and before beginning the observations for a project, each observer will need to take time to familiarize themselves with the map and coding information sheet and the instrument, which is the form used to record data. This is best accomplished by doing a test run for several minutes complete with a sketched map in the diagram box and code for recording how patrons travel past the target, recording their behavior and apparent demographic information until sufficient fluency with the codes is established so that each observer can use them effectively during observation conditions. When conducting an observation, you should also always have copies of the talking points about the project with you. Begin each observation by entering the date, start and end times, and the location code on the map and coding sheet. The location code will be established by the project manager. The parameters of the observation area should be established and sketched into the box provided on the sheet with appropriate detail, such as the location of doors, shelves, etc., as well as indicating the position of the observer and the location of the observational target, as well as potential pathways people may use as they pass by the target. Use the lines below the diagram to designate the path associated with each of the codes. For consistency of recording the data, ensure that each observer is using the same map parameters and the same code. Note the possible paths past your target. Each one on the coding sheet will be designated A through H and numbered 1 or 2 to indicate the direction of travel. For example, if my project calls for the paths transiting away from the main entry and exit point as A1, B1, etc., then the two designation of each of those paths will be when the patrons are using the same path but headed in the opposite direction, toward the main entry and exit point. The codes should be simple and clear and all observers should be consistent. On the map and coding sheet, there are also notes about the information you will record on the instrument for observational study. Each observer should be familiar with all the information and have a copy of this available for quick reference during the observation. Each instrument page can be numbered to show its place in the larger project or can be simply numbered sequentially by each observer the project manager should determine which is more appropriate for each project. At the top of the page, it's also important to name the designated target of observation, the video monitor, bulletin board, book display, or so on. Each page can contain three detailed records and also has a tally section at the bottom with three sections labeled D, G, and L. The tally section can be used when the volume of people passing by the target makes it impossible to maintain individual records for each patron. The three designations in the tally area are D for disregard, G for glance, and L for look. You will find these terms defined on the map and coding information sheet. If a patron shows any more attentiveness to the target than that, their actions should be captured in a full record. Each record begins with a time and a number. This is the time they first enter your area of observation, as defined by the sketch on the map and coding information sheet. The number of the record should be in accordance to the plan of your project manager. Sequential numbering from number one for each observer and each observation is the simplest, but if cumulative numbering is being used, make sure that each observer knows what number they should begin with. If possible, try to indicate accurately if a patron is solo or with a group. Record how many are in the group if possible, and also indicate their record number if there is one. Use the path designations established on the map and coding sheet to indicate the path taken by the target. This information can be recorded four times to allow for multiple trips past the target. If time allows, you can also note the time of each path past the target. The next section of the instrument is the demographics box. Whether or not this information is collected is the decision of the project manager. If you are capturing this data, 
please remember that it is difficult to accurately capture demographic information by observation. So we're merely recording apparent information. And if you are unsure of an answer, please use the I for indeterminate option. The demographic information includes gender, with the option to circle male, female, and indeterminate, as well as age, which allows you to select the most suitable age range you can estimate. For race, you may select Caucasian, Latino, Asian, Black, Native American, Pacific Islander, or indeterminate. If you are at all unsure, please choose indeterminate. The differentiating descriptors section is used to help you distinguish people from each other as you are recording your data. This is not tracked or saved information. It is merely to allow you to capture the same person's information together. As much as possible, you want to keep multiple paths by the same person on the same record. If you are not sure if you have captured the information about a subject, then you can always start a fresh form. If you enter a new subject form for someone and then realize you have already recorded them, simply note that by indicating that, for example, subject seven was also subject 15. And on the record for number 15, indicate that they should also check record number seven. That way the data is linked together when the results are tabulated. In the action description section, you can circle whether a staff member directed a patron's attention to your target. You can also indicate the amount of attention paid to the target. This code is specified on the map encoding sheet, D for disregard, and indicates no acknowledgement at all of the target. G is eye contact for up to one full second, L, one to two seconds. R is used to denote reading. T indicates that the target was touched. P is used to indicate that a photo was taken. N, notes were taken. And IT refers to an item taken, such as a calendar or book. You can circle the action taken and connect it with a line to the information on the following line, which indicates which pass by the target the action occurred on. For example, if a patron glanced at the target on the first trip and read something on the second trip, you can record each of those actions and indicate which trip it occurred on. If time permits, make a note of how long a patron spent in the more engaged activities, such as reading or note taking. Also, at the bottom left and bottom right of each page, there is room for notes. Heavy traffic times will keep observers busy, but data from high traffic times is quite valuable. Heavy traffic can make it impossible to accurately record full records for each patron, which is when the tally section at the bottom becomes very helpful. Record data until you've reached your pre-selected time or number of patrons.